Hey guys, what I want to talk about today is the most common error with kettlebell swings. Now, kettlebells, awesome tool. A lot of people use them wrong, trainers and general public too. So let's get a bit of a discussion going. Comment below and let me know the common errors you see when people are doing kettlebell swings. So, you know, you're in the gym, and maybe your client and maybe someone else's client, whatever, but just comment below and let me know the common errors you see people make with kettlebell swings. Now, I'll, I'll go to what I believe is the most common error and how to fix it, but before we do, let's just talk a little bit about the benefits of kettlebells and why it's important to do it correctly. The reason why I love kettlebells and kettlebell swings is because of the posterior chain activation. To do a proper kettlebell swing, you've got to use so much pop, so much of your posterior chain to generate that power. So it's all glutes and hamstrings. And that's important in boot camp because we do so much squats and lunges and squat jumps and lunge jumps for the anterior chain, for the quads and that. It's important to balance it out. And kettlebell swings is the perfect way to do that. Yeah, there's only only so many like donkey kicks and single leg bridges you can do. The kettlebell swing is so much more powerful than them. So anyways, on to the common mistake. Let's see if anyone got it. Hikes it up, uses the glutes explosively, and there he goes. And at the top of the swing you can see, flexing his knees, flexing his glutes, standing up nice and tall. Now some of the common problems you might see with your kettlebell swing uh, is the over squatting. Now this is how this might look using a squat pattern instead of a hinge pattern. You can see bum's going down and not backwards, bending in the knees more so than he is uh, in the hips. So you can see here again from the front. And that's one of the most common problems you'll see with the kettlebell swing. Now what we like to do to fix that up is use another kettlebell. So I'll just grab another kettlebell and you place that other kettlebell basically in between their feet like that. You can use a kettlebell or a water bottle You'll see why a water bottle also works. So if he now uh, over squats with his swing, big clank as he hits that kettlebell. So he knows straight away that he's over squatting and not sending his hips back. All right, so there's the proper swing. And then as soon as he messes one up, hits the kettlebell. Now you're not gonna damage the kettlebell, but like I said, it can give you a bit of a shock. That's why a water bottle can also be nice. So water bottle. If he goes too low, smashes into the water bottle, and it's a bit more pleasant and not 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 as big of a, a shock for your client. Okay, so that's the strategy on how to fix the over squat. A couple of reasons why I love it. The first reason is it works a tree in boot camp because everyone pretty much has a water bottle anyway. So if you're running a boot camp and it's a station, kettlebell swings is a station, you can just tell everyone, hey, look, put your water bottle underneath and make sure you don't hit it. You don't need to stand there and watch every single rep and make sure they're not getting too low on over squatting. You can just have a water bottle there and then walk around and help someone else. The other reason I love it is it gives Give someone a clear reference point, okay? Because as trainers, it's all well and good to say, hey, you're over squatting. Hey, you're over bending your knees. Hey, you're not hinging at the hips. They don't know what that means, all right? But if you just give them a point, hey, there's a water bottle, don't hit it. It's easier for the client, all right? Anyway, that's the video for today. If you liked it, just hit like. Any questions, comment below. We've got on special at the moment our boot camp and kettlebell CEC specialist package. It's like 40 CEC, so we'll cover you for like four years. It's the boot camp level one, the kettlebell, sorry, boot camp one and two, kettlebell one and two, and you also get our bonus med ball course as well. All right, I'll put the link below. Any questions, just let us know.